Hey guys, uh, so we're going to talk about a different tool today. Uh, no guns today, no bullets. Uh, we're going to talk about blades. That's right, knives. That is a very important part of any type of pack, whether it's just everyday carry or it's something that uh, you're going off the beaten path with and uh, you need bushcrafting uh, or self-defense, all of that sort of thing. So I've got a couple of uh, knives for you I want to show you. Mr. Bram Frank. Uh, he is a designer. Now this guy has been around quite a while. He's in his 70s now. Great guy. And he sent us some knives that uh, we requested. And he uh, is going to allow us to showcase them. Not nearly as well as he can. So we're going to give you a link at the bottom. And, and that way you can see the master work his knife the way it's supposed to be worked. But we're going to do our best. Let's get to it. Alright, so... A lot of people like fixed blades, uh, and we're going to go over that first. He has uh, several different styles. He sent us one style, and so I'm going to go over that, and then I'll show you uh, another fixed blade knife that I've got, kind of give you some uh, ideas of what's different, uh, not just visually, but maybe uh, working with the knife, uh, what might fit your needs better. He has uh, this fixed blade here. Nice little Kydex uh, sheath. Now, I was shaking this when I first got it out of the pack to see what the retention was on it. Because it's, it's not, you know, dramatic. But obviously, well, I was shaking it a little too hard over the kitchen table and it bit me. So it is crazy, crazy sharp. All right. There... There it is. Now, if, if you've looked at as many knives as I have, you notice uh, the little hump there. And I hope you didn't mind me calling it a hump. I know that's not uh, probably the proper way to, to talk about the knife, but that hump there creates a very solid feel because the last thing you want to do, in my opinion, would be to slip with your working hand and get into the blade. Terrible, terrible day, uh, especially for something that's razor sharp. But as you are putting it away and you know getting the knife to where you're going to work with it, it it it's just I don't know. It's natural. That's a really good term. It's just natural. It's got some serrations here on the front and on the back. So you can get really good purchase. It's got some serrations here as well uh, on the bottom, not on the spine or the top. But then all along here, you've got that as well. These handles are really thin, and that makes it have a really nice feel. Now, it'd be a little nicer if they were a little bigger to feel the hand a little more. Now, and I don't have, you know, huge uh, monkey hands. But you can tell that knife has got a lot of room if you have bigger hands uh, to, to be able to get within the safe uh, part of the knife. And so the, the blade, I feel like the, uh, the curvature and uh, the grind looks uh, uh, about like every other knife. It doesn't tell me, uh, and Bram didn't tell me what grind was on the blade. I didn't ask him, so it's not his fault. But I like to know those types of things so when I go to sharpen it, I get that edge correct and I'm not trying to, uh, to remake the blade by, uh, by sharpening it. But So there's his offering. Again, the curvature uh, is just a very natural, very, very natural. I can't, can't say that enough. Now, compared to my fixed blades, <laughs> okay, so in all seriousness, uh, my grandfather whittled this. I just had to show it to you. Okay. Uh, so you have fixed blade knives, something similar to this. Now this is a plastic knife. Uh, this is not like a full tang uh, or anything of that nature. This is a Gerber. And uh, it has the glass break on the back end. Uh, it's a very well balanced knife. Good knife. I believe it's made by... Uh, an, in a, uh, Portland, Portland, Oregon, uh, Gerber there. Uh, of course, it has the serrated edge on it, which uh, there's pros and cons to it, of course. But uh, uh, this knife is quite a bit different as far as just the look and feel. 
uh, of the uh, knife that Bram offers. The uh, case is uh, a bit more substantial and you know Molly compatible, those types of things. So there's there's a lot of options out there. Now let's talk folders. A lot of people, such as myself, I carry a knife every day. My knife of choice that I have carried for years is my Benchmade. Now this is their automatic style. Uh, Brand does not offer one such as that, so I won't show that one to you. However, Benchmade does make uh, something similar to this, and so let's look at the difference that we have here. <clears throat> Obviously, Bram's knife is uh, a bit larger. You're going to see that there are some uh, some major differences. Uh, both of them I really like, honestly, and that's the clip. Uh, this is carried as a point down in the pocket, and of course, this one is carried as a point up in the pocket. This uh, rides quite a bit higher in the pocket. I'm going to show a photo of that here in just a second. <clears throat> uh, compared to this, which uh, it all but disappears. You've got very little that is shown inside the pocket for those who want to carry more discreetly. Uh, however, this spoon clip that he creates has got so much bite in the pocket. If you're wanting to access this quickly, uh, may not be the knife for you. However, if you're wanting something that when you do clip it in and you are uh, going through uh, some real difficult terrain where things may be tugging at your pockets or pack or something of that nature and you don't want to lose it, then this clip is phenomenal. It's much better than the clip on the Benchmade. Uh, you see the design uh, feature, much like in the fixed blade, where this is, look at that, so it's very quick to open. Now the locking mechanism is on the spine here, on the back side, and not in the middle where you typically see it. I like this as a safety feature. To me, pushing it here and then folding that knife over, depending on the play that you have uh, in the knife, I don't know. I just, I like the, uh, I call it a spine lock. I'm not sure exactly what uh, Bram calls it, but I do like it here instead. Uh, this, of course, can be opened. I believe he calls it a kinetic opening. So you can open it with your finger, your entire hand. You can flip it off of uh, some other part of your body and open it. So it's, it's very user friendly. This fits my hand really well. You have your thumb to where you can really uh, drive the knife, really push with it, especially uh, if you're into knife fighting or learning that art. Uh, this can also be used as a weapon that's folded. So you can use that to smack or to uh, use it for pressure points, that sort of thing. Um, it's just, it's very well thought out. I really, really like it. Another feature that I like about this knife is the type of lock that it has. It's different than anything else and it is extremely solid. You will not have to worry about this uh, breaking, uh, which is always my fear. You put a knife in a bind enough and it is going to overwhelm the locking mechanism. You will not have that problem with this knife. Makes uh, different blade designs, so check that out. Again, his website links and so forth will be there at the bottom. Uh, he also has a Magnum. Wow. <laughs> and that is, wow, that's a beast. Uh, same blade design with this, same uh, spine lock, the same mechanism inside. It's just a much bigger knife, more along the size of the fixed blade. Still has the nice curvature. It's just got a great feel to it. I'm telling you, it's, it's just different, especially if you're going to use the knife. If it's more than just a pocket knife for you, so for me, I'm opening boxes and doing little cute stuff with mine. This is something to where, I mean, you are really going to use it. It's got uh, the little ridges all over the place. Again, you can use that thing for pressure points to smack somebody with. Same clip design where you can index. It's got these little uh, divots in it, if you will. Uh, but you can open that thing very quickly. Uh, but that is a man's knife. That is way too big for me. One other thing that Bram makes that I want to talk to you about is his little trainer. Now, 
you can train with something like this. It's plastic. It'll never cut you. I mean, you could poke yourself with it and probably bring blood. But this is his trainer. So it's identical to the smaller knife. But this, of course, has a blade that is, I, I don't even know that it would cut butter. It's terribly dull. Uh, but it's designed that way. And it's designed so that you can take something like this. And if you're really interested in the art of knife fighting or wanting to learn about that and how to use this in, in different manners and get really good, man, I can't think of a better knife, a better option for a person, male or female, to learn. And I'm telling you, even though it's dull, and you know it's dull, there's something about metal on skin versus plastic or even grandpa's old wooden knife. Uh, so you can pick one of these up. Like I said, it's strictly for something just to learn with. Uh, you can learn how to open, how to index with it, move it around, uh, get the feel uh, for the knife, and not have to worry about cutting yourself uh, the way I did earlier. So the only drawback that I see in the knives is the height of which they carry. I'm not real big on that. That may not be a, a deal breaker for you. But the main thing for me is they're made in China. And I've talked to Bram and I would really like to see a, an American manufacturer uh, bring some of these designs uh, to the market from uh, manufacturers here in the States. So being made in China, I'm just not a huge fan, but they're not like the knives that you're going to find uh, in your little dinky stores, your gas stations, those types of things. Man, these things are built like a tank. Just the fit, finish, and feel of them, it's phenomenal. Great steel that it uses. I just hate that they're made in China. So I want you guys to know my honest review. Obviously, Bram wanted me to, to bring an honest review, and so that's what I'm trying to do. The locking mechanism, the way it handles just the fit in the hand, uh, the way it can be used. To me, I haven't found, seen, or held another knife like them. Give them a shot. Uh, they're obviously less expensive than what you're going to find a Benchmade or some of the other uh, names that you're going to find out there. And if you're interested in using the knife, especially in the knife fighting skill and so forth, it's going to be the best option out there for you. Check Bram out. Check his website out, his history. He's not one of these guys that uh, fly by night or using an alias, someone else's name and history uh, to try to bring some light to himself. Uh, he's trying to design the best thing out there, and I think he's really got the market cornered with these designs. Somebody in America, call Bram and bring these knives home to the USA. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.